from <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Melly Spaghetti and welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year everyone. I hope you all had a great one. I just stayed home and made pizza with Kevin. We made a homemade pizza. It had mushrooms and garlic and it was so good. So today I'm doing an all-time favorites of 2017. I'm going to be talking about makeup, skincare, fragrance, and like YouTubers and movies and music and like games and just a whole variety of stuff I really, really enjoyed in 2017. So let's get started. So let's start with makeup since this is a makeup channel. So the first one on my list is my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Golden Beige. I recently ran out of it which I'm really sad and I wanted to get a new one but since I am sticking to trying out one foundation a month, I guess I have to say goodbye to this for a while. So the next one on my list for makeup is the Take Me to Brazil palette. I really love this palette because it was so inexpensive and it has so many different colors of the rainbow and it was such a good palette. It was like, I think I paid like no more than $15 and these are so good. They're so pigmented. Not all of them. I really love the mattes especially. The yellows are really good for being yellows. The purples are really good. I don't care about this black, but I have a lot of black shadows already. But this is really a great palette to start with, especially if you want to get into using more colors. I really recommend this one. So the next on my list, I recently got during Black Friday, but it's the Sugar Pill Liquid Lipstick in Nurse. I'm wearing it right now. And it became an instant favorite. I haven't worn red lipstick in so long because I always go towards darker colors. But this one's so good. I feel so good wearing it all the time. And it's just like so magical. And I love that it smells like Starburst. I don't know if it's like Starburst. But it just smells really good. The next one on my list, I didn't get it this year. But I really have to mention it because I love black lipsticks and Black Moon Cosmetics has hands down the best black lipstick I've ever tried. I've tried so many black lipsticks since my angsty youth and Black Moon kills it. The next on my list for makeup, I've tried out so many setting powders but none work like Ben Nye's Neutral Set. A lot of powders tend to like crease on me really fast. But Ben Nye has got me. He has me. He holds my foundation down and I love this stuff because I don't really get flashback unless I use too much and don't brush it off. But it's so good. I really love this. Next one on my list is Baby Batch Gel Liner. So I tried this out in a video and it was so good. It has dried, it has dried down just a little and it's super black. It's super matte. And I love it, especially for when I want to do, like, detail work. So last on my list for makeup is BH Cosmetics Galaxy... BH Cosmetics Galaxy Chic Palette. This one I've been eyeing for so long. And I finally got my hands on it, which I'm super excited about. And I just love all these colors. I'm wearing Electra. That's this one. On my lids right now and it is just these are such gorgeous shimmer shades I feel like I don't need any more shimmer palettes because I have like so many colors here already moving on to skincare I've been moisturizing with oils a lot well my skincare routine changes from like season to season especially since we basically have like two here in California we have cold dry weather and hot dry weather so right now it's cold dry weather and I always go for my rosehip oil and my vitamin E oil to keep me moisturized. I use rosehip oil during the day and vitamin E oil during the night. So rosehip oil, it's like one of the only oils that doesn't break me out, which is, I really love it. I really love rosehip oil. So this one, I just recommend going to like Ross or Burlington or TJ Maxx to get stuff like this because 
they tend to run pretty pricey. Just get yourself a bargain, who cares? Same thing. And also make sure you read the ingredients so they won't sell you coconut oil instead. So I use rosehip oil during the day because it absorbs really fast. And I use vitamin E at night just because I need that extra layer of moisture in my skin. Next for skincare is some aloe vera gel. I got this at a little at a little market next to my friend's work. And I really love this because it's really like multi-purpose. I use this mostly in the summer because I don't really like oils and like thick creams on my face in the summer. I just want to feel fresh. And aloe vera gel has got me. It's so good. It's so good. It's so refreshing. I've used it when I get my skin irritations, when I have like little allergic reactions, and it helps soothe it. It helps soothe my breakouts, which I really like. I love aloe vera gel. <laughs> Next for skincare is e.l.f. Illuminating Eye Cream. So I got this during the summer because I always have like really dry under eyes, and this has helped it immensely. I didn't want to really like splurge on eye care. Just because I wanted something that was hydrating. So I was like, I'll start with e.l.f. And if it doesn't work, then I'll move up. And I really love this. It says it helps with like puffiness and like fine lines and dark circles. Uh, well, I guess my dark circles have gone a little down. But it really helps with like the dryness. And that's just, that's just what I wanted it for. So I really love this. Next... On my list of skincare is Pacifica's Kale Water. It's a cleansing water and I love this stuff because it just helps like clean my face. I use this mostly in the morning when I'm too lazy to go wash my face. It's bad that I don't wash my face in the morning but this covers me and this does such a good job in cleansing my skin. I also use it like after I'll take off my makeup just to get any leftover residue off and it's so good. I love this. Next on my list is Lush's Cup of Coffee Face Mask. I'm almost out of this one but it smells so good. I love, I love this because I, I love doing a mask before I do my makeup sometimes especially if I'm going out and getting ready. And I really love this because it helps like exfoliate and my skin feels soft and brighter whenever I wear it. Like after I, after I use this. And it's so good. I've always loved the smell of coffee. And a cup of coffee is the greatest. Last on my list of skincare is Mario Badescu's Drying Lotion. I've used this especially on my hormonal breakouts. And this just takes care of it overnight. It's so great. I've used it with my aloe vera lotion. I'll go in with that first. And then once it dries down, I'll go in with the drying lotion. And like my, I get like underground acne basically. Like underground pimples. And they're painful and they hurt. I put this on. They're basically like little, like just like little mounds on my skin. Which is still gross. But at least it's not like so big. And it doesn't, it's not painful should go get this. It's a great investment. So in 2017, I got more into fragrances and I haven't really been into fragrance since my mom has been really allergic to like certain smells. And like little by little, I started getting into fragrances. So the first one I've ever tried out is Pacifica's Prison Rose Perfume. I love this because it smells like straight up roses. It's like my signature scent and it's so good this is my second bottle kevin got it for my birthday which i'm really excited about because they have like little rollerballs and i don't really use rollerballs or like solid perfumes and i was like this smells so good i need to get this and i love the smell of roses i grew up with my mom having a rose garden in our front yard and this just brings back memories from then and I love this scent. So the next one on my list is Kat Von D's Sinner Perfume. I fell in love with it the first time I smelled it at Sephora. 
and it's such a good scent. I love like earthy, smoky, spicy scents. This is just so perfect. And Victoria got it for me for my birthday and I was so excited. <laughs> the last on my list for fragrance is Lush's Rose Jam Body Spray. It literally just came out during the holiday season. I'm obsessed with Lush's Rose Jam set and I knew I was going to fall in love with this and I did. So I put I like to put this on after I take a shower especially and I also put it on my blankets and my pillows and it just smells so good. So moving on from like all that, I want to talk about my favorite YouTubers from the year. So I like I do enjoy watching other like makeup artists on YouTube, but I feel like if I watch too much, I'll be like too influenced by it. So I try to watch like other stuff on YouTube. So I re I discovered the game theorists like what was it? Like the end of 2016 and I got instantly hooked. And then beginning of 2017 I started watching the GT Live which is live streams like Monday through Friday at 4 p.m. where Matt, Pat and Stephanie just play like games. And I, I love it because I've always loved watching my cousins and my friends play video games and I feel like this is just like another extension of it. So the next on my list of YouTubers is Ask a Mortician. So she's a mortician basically and she has this YouTube series talking about death. And I've always been interested in the fact of death, but watching her videos just helped me feel more comfortable. I've always had like just a fear of dying and a fear of like not knowing what's on the other side, what's going to happen to so, like my physical body, to like, to, like stuff here on this realm and like watching her videos like she's she's so funny like she has like a dark sense of humor but it helps like get through like just talking about death so moving on to tv shows and like series and stuff first one on my list is jersey shore because if you haven't watched jersey shore you should it's on hulu i'm on the fourth season now i have like one more season to go right yeah, if you love reality TV, if you love drama, go watch it. So next thing on my list is Stranger Things 2. I really liked Stranger Things 2 besides what everyone else had to say. I feel like I had mixed reviews, but I thought it was really great. I really liked that we got to see a lot more of Will. I really want to see more. I hope there's going to be another season. <laughs> so next on my list is BuzzFeed Unsolved. I love ghost hunters, ghost adventures, whatevers, but sometimes they're boring. I really love, I really love these guys in BuzzFeed Unsolved because they just make it funny. I love a good laugh. Next on my list is Absolutely Fabulous. So Absolutely Fabulous is like an old show. I believe it's from like the 80s, something like that. It's old. It was on Netflix. And I've only seen like certain episodes of it, like on TV here and there. But it's such a good show. It's so funny, it's British comedy, and it's so over the top outrageous. I absolutely love it. So the next on my list is Dracula. Dracula is basically punk rock RuPaul's Drag Race. So I watched this on YouTube, it's on Amazon, the first season is on Amazon Prime now. The second season is currently going on YouTube on Raw Presents and it's so, so good. Last on my list is X-Files. I saw this last year but I currently just watch, re-watch episodes on Hulu so you should watch X-Files and I believe it's also coming back soon on Fox which I'm excited about. So moving on from TV shows, let's go on to movies. So I wanted to include movies that came out in the theaters this year basically. So first one is Get Out. Get Out is straight up the scariest movie I've ever seen. Because I love, I've said this before I'm pretty sure, that I love horror movies that depict like real life scenarios 
and Get Out just had me on the edge of my seat the whole time. So the next one is Cars 3. I love Cars. I saw the first one in the drive-in. I saw the second one on Disney Channel and I was like, I have to see the third one. So I went to the drive-in and saw it. I love Cars. I'm getting a Lightning McQueen backpack in the mail soon, so. The next one is Coco. I saw Coco in Spanish, uh, like on a bootleg, but it was such the cutest movie and it just made me feel good inside. It made me think about my family and I cried a lot. I ruined my makeup that day. I'm gonna give an honorable mention to um, the new It movie just because I saw it twice and I laughed. It wasn't it wasn't scary, it was just funny. So moving on from movies, let's go on to music. So Spotify came out with the top songs of 2017 and it is hands down my favorite playlist of the year. I've been <laughs> playing it nonstop. I'm gonna link it down below so you can listen to all my favorite songs this year. So I started editing this video. And I realized it had cut me off. So now it's really late in the day. It's like almost 10 o'clock. So I'm gonna keep going where I left off. So as I said, I'm gonna link down the top songs of 2017. And I'll do that. So I have three games on this list because I just got into playing games basically. So the first one on my list is Cuphead. As I said before in one of my favorites videos, I absolutely love the art style, the rubber hose cartoons. Those are just, I just grew up like watching cartoons like that. So I really love the art style. I got me so excited. It's just that that game's so hard and I don't like it. I've died so many times, but it's so fun. This next one on my list is Doki Doki Literature Club. So Doki Doki Literature Club starts off as like a traditional like anime dating sim. And then it goes off the wall, it goes off the rocks, it goes crazy. And it's just so interesting. And like I felt like the ending was just bittersweet because like you finish the game and you want to play more. It's just totally crazy and there's a huge trigger warning right from the start so you really have to take it with precaution so last on my list of games is animal crossing pocket camp so i started playing this on my phone like finals week and it, it came out like either a couple or a week before finals week but and I decided to wait because I knew I was going to get too into it. And I was. And I still am. And I'm still playing it. And I'm currently at level 37 right now. I really love that game because it just helps pass time so well. And it's so peaceful. Except when I don't have enough materials to craft with. But anyways. <laughs> I love that game. It's free. And a good pastime. So that's all I have for my favorites video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed me talking. I hope you try something new. Watch, listen. I don't know. Just do something new. And I hope 2018 treats you all so so well. Cheers to the new year and I just want to say thank you to everyone that has supported me in 2017 and even before and I really want to get in the habit of making more videos because I really do find this fun I want to get like better equipment better camera these videos are just a lot of fun for me and I'm gonna stick to doing it just like once a week because I know I'll burn myself out if I do it just more and be on the lookout for new content. I'll see y'all later. Bye.